I'm Claudia K, and welcome back to my channel. I've got a haul. My sister, who is a teacher, is on spring break this week, and we have been planning for a while to go out and do some thrifting together and get lunch together. And um, so we did that today. And I think I got some good stuff, you guys. I don't even know where to start. We went to two places. The one place I can get prices cheaper at an antique store than I can there. So it's a little disappointed in some of their prices. And their milk glass, they've priced some of their milk glass higher than I would sell it to you guys if I was bringing it to a live sale. So I'm not sure why all of a sudden they've jumped the milk glass up in price. Some of it's not even like super collectible. I don't know, but their milk glass was already just, I did not get any milk glass from them. But um, I guess I'll start with what I got at uh, Goodwill because I've got a whole box over here. So everything that I'm going to show you first, let me move some things around, came from Goodwill. So it wasn't a large amount of stuff, but it was some fun things. So yeah. Okay, so um, I got some Christmas items. I It's kind of washing out the color, but you've got a pale green and a pale pink. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's a music box. I could not find any chips or dings on it anywhere. I love it. I love it. So I did pick that up. And then I got, I got this guy. Isn't he fun? And he's big. Not marked. There's no marking on it. So I have no idea when he was made. I have no idea who made him, but he's super fun. So picked him up. And I am going to do a, um, I'll do a Christmas in July sale. But as always, if you see something that you cannot live without, you can email me and um, ask me if it's available. My email is claudiakvintage at gmail.com and K is spelled C-A-Y-E. I'll have it in the description box below and um I think it's almost, it's, it's definitely on my about in the, in my channel. I think it's almost on all of my videos and you can also, um, Instagram message me. I have an Instagram Claudia K Vintage. So I got this little bowl. It's got the maker on the bottom, but I cannot, it's, I've got to peel the price sticker and see what I got to look it up, but it was so well made. Both my sons are, um, pottery artists or potters or, you know, whatever you want to call them. And so you get to know what a really good um, piece of pottery feels like. And it just feels nice. It's just a little, a little dish, but picked that up and I'll have to do some research. I got Francoma with a Francoma sticker on it. I've never seen a Francoma sticker on anything before, but it's a little dish that looks like a flower. I love Francoma. I don't love Francoma's colors. I love Francoma pottery, but the colors never fit in with my super, super bright and colorful home because my kitchen's in pastels. My um, living room is in every color of the rainbow, literally have rainbow curtains. My bedroom's in jewel tones. And then in here, we've got a lot of, you know, the cool blues and greens. It doesn't fit. I love Francoma pottery, but it just doesn't fit anywhere. But super excited about that. I didn't even know Francoma pottery had stickers. I found a tumble up. It's Fitz and Floyd. A Fitz and Floyd tumble up. That's pretty cool, right? So I got that. I got, 
I don't know if anybody would be interested in it, but I thought it was really cool. It's the Queen Mother, 1900 to 2000. It's just a little, I don't know. I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. And I got, I got Weeping Gold. I know nobody likes Weeping Gold. I have a Weeping Gold planter over there that I tried to sell at Christmas time, didn't sell. I kind of wasn't mad about it because I love it, but little Weeping Gold dish. And I do believe, it's got the sticker on it, but I do believe that there was a company here in Ohio that made um, these Weeping Gold pieces, which maybe is why I come across them quite often. Let me see. Um, this one does not say Ohio, it just says USA. But I might look it up and find that it's another one that was made here in Ohio. So, little Weeping Gold dish. I, don't, I like them. I don't know why I like them, but I do. Now, I did get these for my niece, so these are not for sale. They've got the iridescence in them. They match her, her dishes she already has. So, I got those for my niece. And then I got, I sold a set of these at Christmas and came across another full set of them. So I picked them up again. So these fun little guys, they're bisque, they're from the eighties, but they're so adorable. They've got the lashes. So I'll put those back for a Christmas sale. No chips or cracks on them. So I picked those up. And then they had these little guys, which I've never had before. These are made in Taiwan also. They look like they're made by the same company. And I knew the first set had a tag on them, so I knew the first. I'd have to go back and look in my inventory to see who made those. But um, these look like they're made by the same company. They're smaller, and they've got, you could put a hook on them and hang them on a tree. But how adorable are these? Here, I'll show you size comparison to the, the figurines versus the ornaments. So there's your size comparison. But oh my goodness, they're so stinking cute. So I picked up those three. And then I picked up this little set of four. And I've never seen these before, so I don't know. They're figurines. So here's the first one. I mean, he looks like he's got his arm around someone, so I wonder if this one isn't supposed to, this tiny one. And then this one and this one. <laughs> Christmas mice. Who does not love Christmas mice? Obviously, I love Christmas mice. Look at those. And then I got a glass stirrer. He's a derpy frog. <laughs> I couldn't leave him behind. <laughs> oh my goodness. He makes me happy. Obviously, he makes me happy. <laughs> oh, and then, did I get this there? Yeah. I got... Look at this. It's so mid-century modern. And sure enough, when I turned it over, it says TII made in Japan. It reminds me of things my grandmother had. So, I love it. This is the size of it. And then, I got, I got myself a new mug to drink my coffee out of on my Wednesday mornings. Hi, my name is Bud, and it's my coffee cup. It was a quarter. 
Oh my goodness. Yep. So got myself a new mug <laughs> for a quarter. Oh, I cracked myself up. Okay. So last thing that I got at Goodwill is this. This be my sister found this. And it's really long. It's it's lap link its size like in width, but long enough to cover like a tall person. So I'll have to measure it. This is gonna be up for sale. If you're watching this the day I release it, it's going up for sale tomorrow morning. If you're watching it after that, it's probably already been sold because it's fantastic. Look at that. So today is Tuesday the 12th and tomorrow morning, Wednesday the 13th at 10 a.m. Eastern time, I'm having a sale on my channel with the Thrifty Hippie. And this is the theme. So super, super excited to find that. Um, we pulled it full length in the store to make sure that it was in good condition and it looks really good. It actually smells really good. So yeah, got that. And I do not wash afghans. I do not wash linens of any kind. I leave that up to the people that buy them. If I was keeping it, I would wash it, but um, I do not do that for things up for sale. I will wash glass for days. I know some people don't wash glass because they're clumsy and they break it. I will wash glass for days. I do not mess with linens because I do not want to screw them up. So everything else I got was at um, our local Volunteers of America. But like I said, they have raised their prices and I can literally find things cheaper at the antique store. It's several different antique stores than I find at Volunteers of America. Although I did find a pink fairy lamp. Now I swore, I, cause I had the mint green. Is it green or blue? No, I'm pretty sure it was green. I don't know. They did these in the 80s in these pastel colors. And when I looked up the one that I had, I realized it came in pink. And I was like, oh, if I ever find pink, I'm keeping it. So now I found pink. I'll have to make a decision because it's pink. <laughs> it's filthy. I got to wash it, give it a good scrub. But pink fairy lamp, just found that. And then I got a fairy lamp top. Because I think I have a base that goes with this one. I had a whole one of these before. I'm pretty sure this was a party light one um, that my sister has now. So, and I, oh, I scoured the shelves. I went back several times and no base, but I think I have a base to that. I had stopped buying um, the pieces and parts for a while because I got overcrowded with them. But I bought two pieces and parts today of things. Let me show you the other. If I can carefully pull it out of here. It's blue. Now, I don't know if it's depression or if it was um, depression revival glass when they redid it in the 60s and 70s. Pretty sure it would have been the top to a butter dish. But it was so beautiful, I could not leave it behind. I have this pattern on some of my depression wear. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe you have a bottom and you would like the top. You can contact me. No, no chips, no cracks. I love the top. And I'll be honest with you, it feels like depression revival, not true depression. Just from just from the weight of it, just from the feel. I don't know. If you if you deal in glass a lot, you know what I'm talking about. So I don't think that it is um, true depression glass, but if you've got a base to the round butter dish, here you go, I got your top. It's so, it's so pretty. The blue doesn't really come through well, you know, under a ring light, but it is blue. Couldn't leave it behind. So I did buy two pieces and parts, but I'm okay with it. I got, ooh, 
So we all know I'm gonna do another stone metal and wood sale coming up. So I got a tidbit tray. Look at the handle on that. So not marked, but I picked it up, I put it down, I picked it up. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get it. Cause I really liked the pattern that's on it. So, metal tidbit tray, and I am not sure what this is. It's wherever aluminum, so if you guys know what this is, it looks like a walnut. Is it like just a walnut jello mold? But I was gonna check with my um, niece that I usually thrift with um, because she does the jello molds and she tries out the gross nasty old recipes so i was gonna check with her to see if it's something that she could use um if it's not it will probably be in my metal cell sale coming up that sale is going to be with um oh man i don't i i don't remember now where's my book now i gotta look at my book I look in my book. Also this week, you guys, I'm having a sale with Becky. Ah, I love Becky. That's on Thursday on my channel at um, 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so next week on Glass with Class on Nikki's channel, we will be discussing Avon. And speaking of Avon, I got two Avon things. I got the strawberry dish with the spoon and the lid. And I got this, you guys. I was so excited about finding this because this is the very first time I have ever, I have ever found all three pieces together. Normally I find one piece missing. Or, like, I'll find the pitcher without the stopper, or I'll find the basin without the pitcher, or I'll find the basin and the pitcher, no stop. Like, I found all three pieces together. I love it. I love it. I love it. I had to pay up a bit for it. Oh, slag glass, you guys. Avon did good glass. And we are going to be talking about it on Glass with Glass on Nikki's channel on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Spend your lunch with us. Um, and then Tuesday, April 19th, I will be on Skunky Junk, Sean's channel. Um, I think Leanne Crafty, is it Crafty Kitty Vintage, is going to be on there with me. And then Wednesday, April 20th is my sale with Vintage and Vino. You guys, oh my God, it's so much fun. We're gonna have mimosas because you can't have a sale of vintage and vino without having some vino. So instead of coffee on Wednesday, April 20th, grab your mimosas and join us. Um, Thursday, April 21st, I may have a second spring cleaning sale because I did not get to show you guys all of the items that um, I need to get rid of. And if you missed my first spring cleaning sale, there's still a little bit available. It was a little more than a two hour sale. I don't usually go that long, but I had a lot of stuff to get through. And um, the if you don't know the story, my sister died last year in March unexpectedly. And uh, my niece, her oldest daughter, and I started thrifting and garage sailing and buying in grief, honestly. And, and it was fantastic. We bonded and we grieved and we spent so much time together and it helped us both. But then, you know, by the fall, it had left me with a house full of stuff that was beautiful and vintage, but I didn't need it and I didn't have room for it. So then when Jody, um, Jody Renshaw asked me to come on her channel, 
uh, I'd already started thinking, mm, I probably should start reselling. And so she had me sell an item on her channel and that was it. It was all over. I've been selling every since. Now I'm doing it full time. I absolutely love it. But there are still some things that I picked up last summer because um, I'm narrowing down what I love, which is it's mostly glass. You can tell almost everything I bought was glass. But um, so there are just things that, you know, I need to clear out so I have more space for more glass. <laughs> so I may very well on the 21st um, do another clearance sale. But I will warn you, if I do that one, um, it will probably be because normally I invoice on the weekends. I have sales every day next week. So I will probably give myself more time to do that one and maybe more time to do, do Friday, April 22nd sale. That is going to be with the Kitschy Cat, Kathy, with Bridget, the Baker's Daughters, LLC, and Kim from Oh My Vintage. Oh, I love Kim. I love Kim. I haven't gotten to work with her yet. I'm super excited about that. So, I'm still not finding, so it must be in May, my metal sale is, yes. Oh, so it's going to be in May. It's with Skunky Junk Sean, Nikki of Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, and her husband, John of Viking Treasure Hoard. I always mix his name and Becky's name up. Becky is Vintage Viking Treasure treasures and John is Viking treasure hoard I think I think but yeah so lots and lots of awesome sales coming up I'm super busy I'm super blessed that I get to do all of this and have fun with you guys so my next thing is a Japan mug you can see Japan on the bottom it's really pretty mug with a coaster super super pretty so that will be in an upcoming sale running out of room and then I got this is one of those items where I picked it up I put it down I picked it up I put it down it doesn't glow I checked but I feel like I know I've seen this. This is yellow. This is not amber. I have I have this pattern in a pitcher in amber. So I have to do some research. I have to see who the maker was. I probably am keeping this for me. We all know I like to drink out of pretty vintage, vintage cups and mugs and glasses. And so um, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But it's interesting that the base is solid glass instead of it being you know concave under here I don't know it just felt right so and it's not super big but I picked that up picked up this little green bowl I don't know I'll have to look up because it's not marked but I really I thought this was fun so Picked up a little green bowl. I'm telling you guys, picked up tons of glass. Um, this little plate. It was so pretty with the um, the this pattern. It's not. It's vintage, but it's not um, antique. It's not early American pressed glass, but it was pretty enough that I picked it up. Hashtag bring back the clear gloves. Super pretty. Picked up this candy dish made in France. Really like that. I like the glass that I got today. I found, I didn't even know they made it in this color. I have it in green. I actually have two. I have one for sale, one that is mine, that I've got jewelry in right now, but I found it in brown glass. Eo Brody, brown glass. 
How cool is that? So, pick that up. Oh, I picked up this gorgeous dresser tray. This feels like early American pattern glass. It's got that dry, sharp feel. These are so good for everything, you guys. Because they look fancy, you can put them anywhere. You can display your marbles in them. You can display your brooches in them. You can um, put your perfume bottles on there. You can, you know, put it in the bathroom and put your soap, your um, your soap and your, your liquid soap and your your hand lotion. Like it, it's just it adds a layer of elegance to everything to have these beautiful pieces in your home. So of course I had to get it. Okay, this I think is the only. Thing that's not glass left in this box. This is um, made in the USA in Minnesota. I don't think I've ever had anything made in Minnesota before, but Mother's Day is coming up. To mother with love. It's just a little, it's not pretty. To mother with love. So I picked up that little vase. I don't even care what this is. I picked it up from my Amber collection. Quiz, it was 90 cents. <laughs> and what I'll end up doing is I'll put, I'll display something in the top part, but no chips, no cracks. Cause I thought for 90 cents, it had to have, you know, a big chip or, you know, a big repair in it or something, but no, it, it's filthy, but isn't that great? It's so fun. Oh, guys. Then I found four. Four depression. These are, I cannot remember the pattern on this one. I'll have to look in my book, but it's got the roses. It's the yellow, doesn't glow, but Four of them with no chips, no cracks. Set of four. So I absolutely 100% picked those up. Nikki and I are going to be doing a kitchen sale um, on Glass with Class soon. So those might be in that sale. Look at the mid century goodness <sighs> now it would have had a cheese knife here i believe and then these would have had little spoons but oh it's so good and i think i have an ice bucket in this pattern that i got from fat bird finds um i didn't look yet because this was buried in that box but I kind of think that I have a nice bucket in this pattern in my collection. When I first picked it up, I thought it was Briard, but it's not. It's, um, oh, I still can't tell. Yeah, I don't know. It is, it's, it's got a, a signature there. So yeah, the bottom doesn't say anything, but Oh, the mid-century goodness. Oh, it's so good. So good. That was my last item. Man, I got a lot of good stuff, you guys. It's a half hour worth of a video of stuff. Hmm. Super, super excited. Had a great day with my sister. Got to see my sons. Um, saw a lot of family today. And, and it was 70, to, well, almost, I was like, it was like 69 degrees and sunny here with a, a slight breeze. So it was, it was a good day. A little bit of sadness, but other than that, it was a good day. And, um, you gotta, you gotta focus on the good things, guys. You got to. So 
was sad that it brought the family together, but it was good that I got to spend time with so much family today. Recharge my batteries because I've been super busy lately and um, do some thrifting. Cause you know, I pulled back on the thrifting for a bit after that antique store haul. Woo, cause I got a lot. So that's it, that's all. Um, I'm super excited. You guys let me know what your favorite thing was down below. And again, if you're interested in buying something, you can always email me at claudiacavintage at gmail.com. Um, you can ask questions in the comments below. I do read all the comments. Or you can Instagram message me on Instagram. Please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Instagram, you know, um, ringing the bell so that you know when I'm going live and selling all of these awesome items that I bought today. And you, um, you can come hang out and have fun with us. You don't even have to buy anything. We have a lot of fun in our chats. It's a safe space to hang out. It is an escape from all of the terrible things happening in the world today. And I love vintage and that's why I've created this space. And I think that's all. Remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything and it may mean everything to someone else. Bye guys.